Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I am going to be doing an exciting video. I am going to be ranking my luxury palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have 11 eyeshadow palettes to share with you. I am going to be doing swatches and I am going to rank them from worst to best, you know, based on how much I use them, on formulation, pigmentation, all that good stuff. So if this is your first time here, I'm Gigi. I am a registered nurse obsessed with skincare, beauty, and makeup. Here on my channel, I do a ton of luxury unboxing. I I do a lot of first impressions or reviews all that good stuff so if that's the content that you enjoy go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe and also go to my instagram because over there i do keep posted on new makeup sales makeup releases all that good stuff so without further ado let's start all right friends so let's begin and as mentioned i have 10 of them to show you i collected this palette of the past two years and some i come to love and some not so much so now that i had a lot of time to try them all i do want to show you swatches and just tell you what i feel like you may want to try them or you may want to just stay away and skip all together so let's begin with a little bit of background on her palettes and what they give you and all that good stuff so this is her regular packaging this is her standard packaging it is beautiful very luxurious feeling it, it comes with a beautiful mirror inside and you get always four shades they do retail for 66 um, us dollars and i think 75 canadian i'll leave the prices there if i'm mistaken uh but these are beautiful very luxurious it is truly a treat to have one of them in your collection and so now that i had a lot of time to try the ones that i have i have a good idea of the ones that i use and love the most and that's why i wanted to share you know this ranking speed at the back you can see how she has the one two three uh, prime enhance smoke and puff so that's her way of telling you how you should apply these guys to your list so ranking at 11 the one that i'm holding right now is this one it is her pillow talk luxury palette of pops As you see from the swatches, all of the shades are very, very glittery. And so I don't see one person using all these glitter to create one eye look. I don't know, I just don't love that idea. Um, one that I'm gonna show you next is that kind of way, but I don't know, I just feel like these are just very very sheer they don't really build up properly on the eyelids and just it's it's just a little bit of a mess to work with i don't feel like this is her best quad ever i actually never reach for these i regret buying it it's so so bad i thought that all these shades were gonna be beautiful and just easy to apply but that was not the case at all. Ranking at number 10, we have this one, which is Charlotte's Exaggerized Eyes. And this is a very, very famous quad from her line. This is one of her most popular quads. And uh, to me, it was just underwhelming. I don't know, I just never loved the combination of colors. I don't really like this icy shade. I don't find it complementary to my skin color. Um, the other shades, they're just okay. They don't have a ton of pigmentation. All of her like quads blend beautifully. I don't think I've come across with one that is like, is just patchy or doesn't blend, no. My problem with this one is first the pigmentation i don't find it you know to be very very pigmented and also i just don't love the color story so pretty much it comes down to not using this color much i just don't reach for this guy at all so ranking at number 11 we have the one that is currently on my eyes it is her pillow talk just her pillow talk palette this is also very popular here are some swatches of it and this is a beautiful palette i really have no complaints about it i have this shade all over my lid and then the sparkles you know just you know a top for a little bit of a glittery effect i find this palette to be really beautiful i have no complaints on it if any i feel like i wanted it to be a little bit deeper for my complexion so i would love her to come out with a pillow talk medium or a pillow talk deep i would love to see something in this color story where i don't have to do a lot of building up but nonetheless i feel like these are easy to reach easy to apply they do build up but you, you need to take a little bit of time as I said, I have this shade all over my lid and I had to go a few passes to really build up the opacity that I wanted for my look in today's video. Uh, but I found this color story to be beautiful, very, you know, everyday friendly. And yeah, this one I really, really like. I have no complaints. Next up, we have this one, which is her Walk or No Shame. This was also called Walk or Shame, but she, 
I don't know if she reformulated the quad or she just changed the name, but when she released her Walk on No Shame collection, this was part of it and that's when I got to try it. These are the swatches. As you can see, this is a very, very opaque, very pigmented. These were one swipe, you guys. All the swatches, by the way, are going to be one pass. I'm not gonna be building them up at all. This is just what you get and this is a beautiful color story. This is one of my favorite ones to be honest it is ranking you know towards the end because i don't use it too much but i still love it i have no complaints about this quad i love 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 the color look at this shade it is so yummy and perfect all over the lid i use it as a one shadow and done i love it and then the shades as well so all of them in here I really enjoy I have no complaints whatsoever next up we have one of her all matte quad this is her luxury palette of mattes I have nothing all matte in her collection and this is in the shade desert desert haze and this is a beautiful quad these are the swatches and this again was just one pass of the shadows these are beautiful beautiful buttery soft shadows I just don't reach for an all matte um you know quite so much but during this summer this is so sexy and beautiful i remember loving it last summer so i think i'll reach for these you know towards the summertime but again this was just one swipe of pigmentation look at the opacity of them they they just blend beautifully on the lids and i have zero complaints i just don't use it a ton because i always need my sparkle <laughs> i don't know in my looks i always look for at least an inner corner highlighter and these it's just all matte so that's the only reason why this is ranking towards the uh you know the end of the spectrum but this is a beautiful color story i have zero bad things to say about this i, I really really enjoy this guy next up we have this beautiful palette this is her green lights her luxury palette in green lights my goodness you guys look at these swatches again one swipe pigmentation it is stunning out of this world this sparkles on the green shade they're just so so beautiful and this is for someone that loves those green and olive shades and i love them i love them so this is one of my favorite palettes from her i may not reach for this a ton because it is not you know friendly for every day but this is something that i every time i use it i just love like look at these shades look at these shades I truly truly love it these are just soft butter they just apply by themselves let me show you so these are the shades and I'll tell you like not lying it's just a one swipe full pigment full opacity with this guy specifically I can't get enough of green lights it is one of my favorites to ever to ever exist this will be ranking higher if i use that every day but i just don't to be realistic these aren't shades that i go you know walking around in an everyday kind of basis and that's the only reason why but other than that it's one of my favorites from her ranking in number five we have this one is another of her luxury palette of pops and this is in the shade dazzling diamonds this is one of her newest that's why it comes i think it was limited edition i'm not sure but it comes in this beautiful packaging she released it for the holidays these are the swatches and i just adore this palette i just love it so so much this is so so pigmented this was everything i was hoping the number 11 palette to be because this is very pigmented one swipe of any of these shadows will do and i use them as a one shadow i look you know one and done kind of thing i love this steel color i find it to be so sexy and beautiful i love the golden tones in here again they're just extremely pigmented they do have a base of pigmentation they're not only just that glitter you know that you put at top these are stunning shades i love this palette <laughs> Just so so much. Ranking at number four, we have one of her newest formulation. These are called her Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palettes, and this is in the shade Diva Lights. And this is one palette that I've come to love. I didn't love it. It was not love our first sight. Here are some swatches of this palette, and this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. This is one that I had to use multiple times to really understand it and come to love it. That's why it's ranking higher 
I love this palette. It is beautiful. It is very softening to the eyelids. It is really delicate. You just have to build them up. They're not extremely, extremely pigmented, even though they swatch this perfect on the eyelids. You have to build them up, but I don't mind because again, they just give you that blurring effect. If you're one that is afraid of glitter and shimmer because you have more mature eyelids, I feel like this formulation is truly for you. They're gonna be really softening and blurring to the eyelids. It's not gonna look heavy or just too much. I feel like this is the perfect, perfect formula of her for mature eyes. And um, when I reviewed it, again, I was a little bit underwhelmed because I was like, huh, I have to keep building and building and building and I don't see it. But when I went outside and I saw my beautiful eyes, I'm not kidding you guys, I saw that just a beautiful sheen and beautiful and softening effect that I understood this palette. So yeah, this is a beautiful palette. She has one lighter and then she has another one but this is the only one that i have and i really enjoy number three we have this one which is the bella sophia and this is right up my alley as you see the colors are beautiful they're very neutral they're very just friendly uh the only shade i have a little bit of problem is this one because i mentioned i don't really like these icy shades so i don't use this all over my lid i just use it as an inner corner highlighter and then i'm also Okay, I have to you know work with the other shades because I just don't love these all over my lid That's because I don't love icy shades like these all over my lids But other than that, this is a beautiful palette. It is very opaque. This is one swipe very very pigmented They blend beautifully zero complaints. This shade here the bronzy shade is stunning It has particles of glitter. Let me show you but it has a beautiful base, very bronzy and beautiful. If you apply this shade all over your eyes, these sparkles just catch the light perfectly. And this is one of my one shadow and dawn, um, you know, palettes that I reach for. And yeah, Bella Sophia is stunning. If you love this color story, I think this one is really. Next up, we have one of the best of the best of her. This is a number two, and I'm just saying this that I used in a recent video, but I really wanted to. Bring attention to this one this is ranking this will be my number one because the next one is discontinued and we'll talk about it in a minute but I had to give it a number because I still have it in my collection but this this is my number one from her line this is the queen of glow look at this color story it is just perfection in my eyes. It is beautiful for a spring and summer. I just find it to be so, so opaque, so easy to apply, so easy to blend, just a no brainer. All the shades in here are so rich. All the shades in here, they just perform. All of them just give you a punch. And all these swatches, by the way, they're all dry. They're just a one swipe dry um, shadow swatches. And I think this is impressive. This is, again, this is my favorite from her. If you love this color story, I think you will not, you will not regret it. It is not gonna disappoint you. This is just a beautiful and perfection in a palette. This is one that I reach for. This is one that I take on the go. This is all I need for a beautiful and easy makeup. I will apply one all over my lid and I'm good to go. Or I'll apply a little bit of bronzer and then mascara and I'm good. It's a beautiful, beautiful combination of colors. I just love, love the Queen of the Low. This is my baby. Ranking at number one and it pains me, but I had to do it, you guys. This is no longer available. She said she will bring it back and I've seen it on and off. <sighs> Five rows, and I had to do it, you guys, because this is the first palette that she's created. One of these super pops. So at the back of the palette, as I show you before, here you will get a pop shadow. In the five rows, you get a super pop. Let me show you that super pop. This is her super pop shade, and you guys, this is like nothing she's ever released. As you saw, I have 10 other shades from her and nothing, nothing compares to this palette. The amount of pigmentation in all these shades, like the other ones, they could be comparable to the Queen of Glow that I just showed you. But that super pop though, <laughs> this super pop all over the lid is just yummy glitter at its max. I just love, love this palette. I love the color story. I think it's a very, very complimentary to everyone. It is deep enough, but light enough. You know, everyone, absolutely everyone 
could wear this, who rock this palette. I am so, so sad that this was, you know, limited edition and that's why it comes in this Vaseline packaging, which is beautiful. I wish she's released all her palettes in something like this. I mean, this is stunning, but I guess that's what makes them more special. But yeah, this is Spirals ranking at number one. <laughs> what can I say? Alright, you guys, and that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this rankings video? Is there a fave that I don't own? Is there one that I need? Drop it below. What do you think of my rankings? Was too, too high, something too low, anything, anything that comes to mind, drop it below. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.